Alongside the death of a queen, the accession of a new king, and the ongoing spat between two princes, a royal grandson who never even got a title took the spotlight for just a moment. Here's why. The public has followed the royal family's every move since the death of Queen Elizabeth II on September 8, 2022. From Prince William and Prince Harry's long-awaited reunion to the transfer of power to King Charles III, numerous landmark moments have taken place. For the Queen's procession to Westminster Hall, which was held on September 14, royal enthusiasts momentarily shifted their attention to a royal family member who isn't often in the spotlight. Before the event, news outlets tweeted a chart showcasing the arrangement of the walk to Westminster Hall. Many expected for William, Prince of Wales, and Harry, Duke of Sussex, to walk side by side, and they did. But it was a bit of a surprise to discover that Peter Phillips would also be walking alongside the high-profile brothers. Phillips is the son of Anne, Princess Royal, Queen Elizabeth's only daughter. He's the Queen's eldest grandchild. One observer tweeted, Is that Peter Phillips with Harry and William? Is he there as the next oldest royal male? Another tweeted, Glad to see Peter Phillips there. As the eldest grandchild, he doesn't seem to be involved very much. It's all William and Harry. As you might expect, Phillips' presence with the two brothers led to some theories. While some were excited about Phillips' inclusion, others have speculated that his placement during the procession was meant to mend the tense relationship between William and Harry. An insider told The Telegraph, Peter is used to acting as a bit of a buffer. He may play that role again in a bid to pull them along together. Phillips had previously acted as a buffer between the two brothers during Prince Philip's funeral procession in 2021. Since 2020, Prince William and Prince Harry have reportedly been at odds over Harry's controversial departure from his royal duties. In the years following, the two have hinted at their strained relationship in various statements. I mean, I have a shared experience, but we, you know, we were on, we were on different paths. A friend of Prince William's revealed to the Mail Plus that he goes between grieving for what he has lost and feeling angry over his brother's actions. Queen Elizabeth built and fostered an expansive royal family. Between the late 1940s and early 1960s, the late monarch gave birth to her four children, Charles, Anne, Andrew, and Edward. Over time, Elizabeth's four children welcomed their own kids. While most of the Queen's grandchildren went into the family business and took their own royal titles, Princess Anne chose another direction for her kids. She told Vanity Fair, I think it was probably easier for them, and I think most people would argue that there are downsides to having titles. Since they've largely been out of the spotlight, Phillips and his sister Zara Tyndall have lived relatively quiet yet posh lives. During his college years at the University of Exeter, Phillips studied sports science and played rugby, which people notes resulted in him working for Jaguar, Williams F1 Racing Team, and SEL UK. Although he has established a life outside the limelight, the sports executive still maintains a close relationship with his working royal family members, which previously included the late Queen. He told The Telegraph in 2016, I've always been very close to my grandmother, and we speak often. She has been an inspirational person throughout my life. We were incredibly lucky to be able to share a lot of our childhood time with her.